the monkey. The monkey lets us explore a couple things. The first thing is what we call cross balance. And that is a relationship between one foot and the opposite hand. The easiest way to feel cross balance is to follow the path of fullness. And in fact, when we first learned about cross balance, um, it was explained to us as being cross substantiality, which I think means cross fullness. So that's the easiest thing to feel. So when you're doing the monkey, you step out, you fill your front foot, all of your weight goes there, and you use the opposite hand. So you want to feel this line of fullness that runs through the body from front foot to opposite hand. I step to the other side, one foot, opposite hand, and I feel this line of fullness from my full leg to my opposite hand. Having that will let me keep my balance. I can do whatever I want there as long as I have that connection from one hand to the opposite foot. So when you're doing this, put a foot out, get the other hand ready right away, shift, feel the fullness in the front leg and feel that reflected into the opposite hand. That's what will let you keep your balance as you step or pick your foot up or whatever you do. So I step, one foot opposite hand, shift, fill, feel that line of stability running through the body to the other hand. That's what you're actually orienting around. And so this is very practical. Um, if you're reaching for a cup in a cupboard, um, uh, you know, I open the cupboard and I step, reach with the opposite hand because you'll be more stable versus reaching with the same side hand, which was what uh, will make you potentially fall. This, this crossing happens in all kinds of things. Like if you look at a door, you put both of the hinges on the same side of the door so that the door opens. If you put one hinge down on one bottom side and the other hinge on the other top side, the door wouldn't move. You couldn't open the door. So when you're a door, you want to be able to open. When you're a person wanting to stay balanced, you don't want to have that happen. You want to have this stability so that you can keep that. So that's the first big thing about the monkey. When you're doing the monkey, really pay attention to that feeling of cross balance as you go through it. The other thing about the monkey is that it lets us work on how we shift. And the way we shift, the instruction is to shift as if, shift as if your hips were in a shallow walk, W-O-K, the cooking utensil. So I'm on one side of the cooking utensil, my hips go down into the bottom of the walk, and then they come up on the other side. This is opposed to pushing yourself off of the ground, where I start on one side and then I come up out of the ground and then I fall back into the other side. People sometimes talk about this as shifting under the bridge versus shifting over the bridge. And this happens every place. So when I start out to shift, I step, I'm on my rear leg, I sink into the rear leg allowing the front foot to touch connect to the ground. Then I shift underground and then I feel the ground coming up the front leg takes me all the way up. Same thing happens when I go back. I step, I sit down into the front leg, allow myself to shift underground and then come up the rear leg. This is as opposed to launching yourself off of the ground and then landing in the front foot. So I'm not wanting you to throw your body around. We're told not to throw the meat around, not to throw the flesh of the body around, but allow this sinking to happen, shift underground, come up your front foot, grasp the peach, come back, step, sit down, go underground, come up the front leg, grab the peach. In a more modern image, this is like a skateboarder or a snowboarder in a half pipe, sliding down the half pipe and coming up to the other ridge, sliding back down and coming up to the other ridge. So this happens whenever we shift. If I'm shifting um, in a posture, as I sit down 
and come forward. I'm exaggerating so you can see it. I sit down to come back. I allow that to take me back. I sit down to come forward. I allow that to take me forward. Now we don't exaggerate that in the form. The animals are great because you can go ahead and exaggerate. So when you're doing the monkey, step one foot opposite hand so you're ready for cross balance. Release into the rear leg. Let yourself shift underground. Come up the front leg and grab the peach. Step back, sit down into the front leg, go underground, come up the rear leg. So just keep that going. And then for bonus points, you can pay attention to the coordination between the fingers touching to grab the peach and the foot finishing whatever it's doing. So if I'm gonna step with that rear foot and touch the ground, it touches the ground just as my fingers touch, connect. I come forward and as I, my foot touches, my fingers connect. Those happening together. If I'm gonna lift the rear foot, I'm coming up the front leg, which is lifting, everything finishes together, not that I move the leg after that. So just work on those things. Cross balance. Shifting underground like a skateboarder in a half pipe, down and up and the coordination. Everything starts together, everything finishes together. The monkey.